Welcome back everybody to another Dragon Ball Super video and today we're going to be going over some of the uh, cards just announced uh, close to an hour ago here. Um, they are going over some of the Battle Evolution boosters which um, we've been waiting for. We know we knew some of the cards that uh, were being announced, a lot of them being reprints or some of them being reprints uh, but then there's also supposed to be some new stuff in there. There's actually a link on the website on their website which is what we're going to actually go on and look at. I'm not going to look at it through here Facebook. But on Facebook, I did see something interesting when I walked on here. When I walked on here, when I logged on here, and it was the uh, player choice results for a card that, that has been reprinted. So I figured I would include this in the video before we got into the uh, fun new stuff. So, uh, hello DBS uh, players, thank you for voting in our player's choice campaign. We're, we're excited to uh, announce one of the three cards to be reprinted based on your votes, which is going to be the uh, Heroic Prospect Trunks. Um, the funny thing is that this card already was a reprint. I obviously know it was not a reprint, but they had a, a winter stamp version, or not a winter stamp, but they had a, yeah, it was like a winter stamp version, basically. I don't think exactly what the winter stamp, but there's two different variations of this card already, and the card's still super expensive. Um, uh, as well as two more cards uh, that, that, that would be reprinted. Uh, this, this campaign pack will be provided to pre-registered organized play stores in late March. For stores, please contact Sweet. Uh, important note, our official website states one kit contains 16 packs, however, one kit contains 32 packs. Our webcam, our webcam, our website will be changed next week to reflect this. Okay, cool. So your locals, um, as the world starts to get group immunity from COVID, we should be getting able to uh, get back to some form of normalcy. People will probably still, you know, wearing masks, um, myself included. But uh, the ability to just be able to go out and play will be much higher, and that's that's you know that's the important part for the game. Um, obviously, with everyone being healthy, being one. But if we're able to go out and play, um, not have to play webcam all the time, it's it's a very 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 good thing. So cool. So we're getting reprint of this card. Um, the other two cards, I don't know. I don't remember which card I voted for. I think I voted for the Bardock Negate, the Surge of Inspiration. I think that, that was one of the cards I voted for. I can't remember. It's been so long. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, 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 that's cool. Um, I don't play blue, but um, this card dropping in price, maybe becoming, you know, like a $15 card, which would be very, very, very difficult, obviously, but because um, it's at like $75 to $100 right now. So this card being maybe, you know, $10, $20, I think it's much, much more doable for a lot of people. Uh, that's the whole point of these, of these reprints is to just make make a lot of these cards more um, uh, more accessible for the player base so people have a better chance of being able to play and having better cards means you have a better chance of competing at a high level or at just at your local scene and that's uh, you know that's what matters all right announcement Dragon Ball Super Battle Evolution Booster I uh, hope you are enjoying uh, the new set today we like to talk about the upcoming Battle Evolution Booster so then this the article when we reduce the Battle Evolution Booster you can check this out or time passes, it becomes harder to find cards from previous sets to help uh, evaluate this issue. It's it's not that it's hard to find cards from previous sets. It's just they're too expensive on the second on the secondary market, and I'm sure that's not what they wanted to say. They said, "Hey, we know we charge you guys this much for this, but now people resellers are selling them for you know four to five times the uh, the estimated cost." So um, a lot of these cards here cost almost as much or half of what a draft box five costs, uh, which is ridiculous. Uh, so the four um, below are included, but that's not all. So they added three more cards here, which I didn't know they were doing this. So, so we have SS. Uh, uh, we have the SS Vegeta exploited weakness. This is from Draftbox Four. Don't be confused by the DBS one here. Draftbox Four, uh, one of the best red counterplays that came out. The card sat at seventy-five, eighty dollars for the longest time. I think it's now twenty or thirty. A boonie came out in Draftbox Six. Again, a very, very strong blue staple. Um, peaked at around $75. Uh, Rebrand, a staple for green. Uh, peaked about, well, probably around the same $80. And then Basil right now. Um, actually, Basil's maybe the most expensive right now. Basil's, Basil's peaking around $30. Um, but this is awesome that we're getting a reprint of this card because for, for somebody like me who sold all their cards, uh, and I'm trying to get back in uh, a card like this, which is a card that I need for yellow uh, in some aspect. I'm not paying $30 a card for it 
just because I know I when I bought this card it was eight dollars so I'm I just I can't mentally you know get myself to buy them so um, this is good this is these are all very very good reprints um, I wonder I mean, I'm interested to see what the actual pull rate of these are going to be if there's going to be like one in every like one in every box or they're gonna give you a pack that's gonna have you know four of them in it or something I, I don't know um, but the the pool rate will definitely be will be higher than what it is just for the draft box stuff which means these these will be cheaper um for instance uh, bergamo bergamo was a reprint bergamo is a 30 to 40 dollar card um it came out of the uh, uh the new set and the card costs like five dollars now so <laughs> it's it, it's it's a very very cool thing to see we have Sensu Bean, which will, this will be the third or fourth Sensu Bean that's been reprinted. Um, I don't know if it's going to be this art or if they're just using this art currently because they don't have uh, the new art for it or the, they don't want to show off the new art for it. Defending Father Paragus, this is a card that came out of the Broly starter deck that is extremely expensive. Uh, this is one of the cards that made it, that made it extremely expensive. Um, was the first kind of draw, one of the first draw, draw two uh super combos that we've had and then you send one to the warp it's a cool it's a cool combo um honestly the uh the um great saiyan man the bottom next one maybe it's, it's maybe a little bit better because you get access to better cards or any you get access to your cards more um but paragus is i mean it's 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 been a staple and then universe nine assemble another very very good card that uh it will, this will be its third print uh, the second print was an event pack, which the event pack, um, I think actually costs more. <laughs> yeah, I think the event pack costs more than this card. Uh, this card's sitting about 10 bucks. Uh, this card sat between five and $12. And then this is about a three, $4 card. Um, problem is that you need four of these in a deck, like consistently, uh, depending which deck you're playing. So the super, uh, Paragus would be the only one that maybe you would run as a two of, cause you would run two other super combos, but whatever. Uh, core pieces of your favorite fan uh archetype for getting reprinted making it easier um and then ever to find the card you need let's look at some key new cards and deck archetypes um oh so we have a napa leader this is very cool so activate main once per turn add up to one card from your life to your hand play up to one cyberman card from your deck then shell through your deck so this means we will probably be getting some form of red cyberman but also this means you can play out the green cyberman as well uh which falls right in line with green yellow that falls directly in line with how this deck probably wants to play. When you're left at four or less, you may switch one energy to active mode, play up to two Thibon from the uh, card from your deck, then shuffle. Okay, so we are restand one, play two. That's a very interesting effect. Naiba, <laughs> Naiba, Nappa and Cybermen, the first invaders, when this card attacks, play up to one Cybermen card from your deck, then shuffle. Once per turn, when one of your Cybermen cards is KO, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and it gets minus 10k for, uh, power for the turn. It's pretty good. Uh, once per turn, look up to the top seven from um, look up to seven cards from the top of your deck. Add that to one red Vegeta or Nappa with an energy cost of four or less. Among them, add them to your hand and shuffle. If you added the card, choose one card in your hand and place it at the bottom of your deck. So that's really cool. So you can actually you can actually draw because you're not a draw leader. Um, yeah, so you're not a draw leader, but you do have the ability of drawing every turn without having to attack. So you get you get the you get a draw every turn, but your opponent does not technically uh if you're not attacking with your leader so uh this is cool i'm interested to see what other type of cyberman cards they release and we have a napa break cannon unleashed uh energy exhaust deflect double strike dual attack jeez that's a lot of keywords uh auto once per turn when it, if there's a total of six or more battle cards with an energy cost of one in your battle area when this card attacks it gets 10k power for the turn choose up to three of your opponent's battle cards and ko them see seems it seems interesting because currently, I mean, it has deflect, so it's going to come down. But you're, but you're playing this for four. Now, what's interesting is that this is multicolor. So they're going to, so they're, they're, they're looks like they're starting to push this. It looks like this battle evolution pack is going to push multicolor in some way, maybe not fully, but it's going to be pushing multicolor just enough to where I think the next block is going to be a lot of multicolor stuff. So just be prepared for that. It's a cool card. Um, okay, uh, we'll go into the next one, which is first ever Android 16 leader. Okay, 
Android 16, negate the energy exhaust skill of all Android 16 cars with uh, rival in all in all areas. Okay, so there's only spe specific. I think there's... I think it's just these two. I don't think there's another Android 16 card that uh, has a rival outside of these two. But I guess for the future, it makes it easy. Uh, choose one blue or green Android card in your hand and discard it when this card attacks, draw two. Oh, okay, so this is like the Clash Coup. It's like the green Clash Coup leader, but it's, uh, it's a blue Android. Uh, when your life is at four or less, or there's a total of five or more energy between you and your opponent, you may draw one. Uh, Restand energy. And then uh, add cards from your life to your hand until you have five cards left in life, and then flip. Okay, so it's um it's one of those type of um they, these were reduced these were uh, introduced in set ten, where you have a leader where um you basically take cards f from your own life. It's just a very good way of getting hand um hand advantage. Uh, Android sixteen bottomless inferno same same top effect. You can pay the skills the the skill cost for and activate the arrival skills of cards in your energy. Okay, um, so this makes sense. So you basically you play, you put the Android 16 cards in your energy, and then you play them from your energy. Auto when a blue Android is card is played from your energy, place the top card of your deck in your um, in, in, in your energy in, uh, in rest mode. After battle once per turn, use a blue green multicolor Android card in your drop area in a combo. That's cool. So you can so you can always set up um, a rifle basically. Uh, that's that, that's really cool these cards so uh, this card was already shown uh, Android 16 steadfast ally it's a, a rival for four energy when this card is played add up to one Android 21 and with an energy cost of five or less from your deck to your hand shelf of your deck then choose up to one Android 20 uh, 20 energy for less in your hand and play it okay so you play this card out for four and then you get to search for an Android 21 you get to play an Android 21 when this card attacks your opponent choose one card in their hand and discards it wow okay I mean, for four, and it's 25k double strike, there's no defensive stats. It gets hit by Frieza, but the Frieza effects, but this, the card still effects still goes through. That's, that, that's interesting. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's an interesting card, and it allows you to play these out for free. So you get to play out the, oh, you get to play out Bad Omen. This card, this card owned a format for people who didn't play. Uh, and then the Beautiful Scientist. Um, I mean, they're both okay. Uh, Inner 21 is much better. The bad omen's much better. You play it out, you uh, you you burn a you you burn a life, and then you uh, pop a battle card and you burn a uh, card card from your opponent's life. So it's pretty strong. Uh, the SR steadfast comeback. Six drop twenty k dual attack blocker revenge arrival for two. If your leader is a blue or green when you play this card, or you are using a combo from your hand, uh, choose one. Your opponent chooses one card in their hand, and discards it. Play it. Play up to one blue energy. Uh, one blue android with an energy cost of one from your deck in your drop area. From your drop area. Wait. Place up to one blue... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you place up to one blue uh, android with an energy cost of one from your deck in your drop area, then shuffle. Um, android decks have a lot of drop area play, where you're playing cards from your energy to your drop, uh, which makes it very unique because it's the only archetype in the game that we have that, that's like that. Uh, so this is probably really good in that sense, but it's a dual attack blocker of revenge. So you can swing at this card, restand it, and now you have a block of revenge on board. That's that's pretty good. Um, Alright, we're going to Balma Leader. Black Balma. All Pan, Bola, Balma, Chi Chi, Videl, My, My Future, and Android 18 cards in all areas gain hero. Oh, okay. I, I think I remember them hearing, but so this is, this, this is an all female deck. So you can only play um, cards that have these keyword skills. So you can only play Pan, Bol Bola, Bulma, GG, Videl, My, My Future, and Android 18 cards. Um, okay, when, the, when you play a battle card, or when you play a card, uh, draw one, When this, uh, then this card and the, the card you play gets 5k for the turn. And like I said, five or less, you may restand one, draw one, flip. Same effect. Um, when you play this card, when you play a card, draw one, this card gets 5k. And the card you play gets 5k. After your battle, choose one of your opponents. About, um, choose one of your battle cards and get 5k for the battle. Eh, okay. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, you can because basically, oh, oh, they actually did print a card. Okay. If your leader is a red Earthling card or her own card at the at the end the, at the end of the battle, where this card is played using combo, play play this card from your drop area. One drop blocker. Got a Rosie. Oh, cool. We got a Rosie. So we have some Universe Two. 
which is which is which is strange. Three drop deflect if your leader is green or heroin card when this card is <laughs> play this card for, I guess my dog didn't like this card. Uh, when, when you play this card from your hand, your opponent chooses two cards in their hand and discards them, and this card gains triple attack for the turn. Hmm, it's pretty interesting. So it's a three drop. Uh, but these don't have any specific any specific cost. So I wonder how you would play this. Um, like for like obviously you pick you probably play power burst, but I don't know how how the other cards in this deck will actually form. Like what type of energy and stuff you would run. I'm not really sure. Even better, the female cast from Million University. Yeah, okay, well, we got that part. Uh, all right, so uh, there are plenty of support in this set for new themes. S set for new themes like Vegeta's lineage. Vegeta's lineage, along with classics, favorites like Bardock's Crew, Universe Nine, and plenty more. Besides, uh, check the deck list for the details. Check the card list for the details. Okay, we'll go to the card list. Vegeta, the insubordinate. The two drop arrival red green. That's swap three. For red, if your leader is a red, if your leader is a red Saiyan and you have three more energy, Vegeta's lineage cards. Uh, oh, you swap. To an, to a Vegeta lead, Vegeta's lineage with an energy cost of three. When this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. You get to minus five k. So they are giving some King Vegeta support, which I guess makes sense since they they, they made the field they made the field spell for him. Uh, so that's that's kind of cool. Uh, Tora, keeper of the red armband, a blocker. If your leader is a blue Saiyan and your opponent has two or more energy, when this card is removed from battle by an opponent's skill or KO, choose up to one blue Bardock with energy cost of four. Or five in your hand and play it in rest mode. Okay. Could be cool. And then a Sorrel and Hop Fiends of Universe 9. Uh, blocker energy exhaust. You have a Universe 9 card in play and gate this card energy exhaust skill in all areas. See, now this is what I'm talking about. So, this type of stuff here is what's going to make. Um, it's what's going to make Multicolor come back in some way. Where you're able to have different effects that negate energy exhaust so like this card just says you need a universe nine card in play so you play a basil and then you can you know next turn you or you know if you have a basil in play on your turn you can play this card in your energy and now you have access to blue and yellow it's very very good when this card activates this blocker skill your opponent may choose one card one of their cards and switch to the rest mode if they don't draw one hmm. okay and it's not once per turn so if you can restand this card like using like the zarbon uh you can just block multiple attacks and they have to keep putting cards in rest mode. And it says cards, so it can be battle cards too. That's cool. Uh, what do you think? This set contains uh, 68 new cards, 57 reprints, and alternate holog holographic versions of common, uncommon, and rare for a grand total of 233 card types. Cool. So we're going to go into the card details. Because uh, I do want to see if they have anything else shown in here. Um, just in case. Oh, we do. Okay, we got some green. Is that it? Just green stuff. Yeah. So, so we actually have we actually have green. So, we have our TN leader, uh, TN and Shinhan. When this card attacks, draw one, add up to one card from your life to your hand. Uh, activate main, add it to one shot so it's five k power less from your deck to your hand. Then negate the skill for the turn. Okay. So this is kind of, you kind of probably need to have a shot in your hand for something. If your life is at four less, you may play three multi-form tokens in your battle area. Multi multi-form tokens have 10k power, zero combo cost, 5k combo, then switch up to one energy to active mode. Okay. Tian Shinhan Mysterious Technique. When this card attacks, draw one, this card gets 5k power for the battle. If you have a total of three Tian Tian Shinhan and or multi-form uh, tokens in your battle area, when this card attacks, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, energy costs four less KO, this card gains crit for the turn. Okay. It's a cool looking art. Um, launch the wild one. If your leader is a hero, so this works with the bomb leader, only with the bomb leader. Uh, you can play this card from your hand with uh, with two markers on it. Oh, because it has a it has a specific cost. Okay, never mind. Um, I can mainly look at the top five. Up to one world tournament or heroin card. Shuffle minus one. Choose any number of your opponent's battle cards where whose total cost add up to three and KO them. That's really strong. Um, that's that's like a mini dormant almost. Yeah, obviously, it doesn't have the negating effect, but that effect is really good. Uh, and and it's, on, and it's on unison too. That's what that's what's really good. Um, so it's a green unison, so you could play Frieza charismatic villain with it, which eh, 
it's annoying. Sun Goku, the long awaited rematch. Uh, unique bo barrier. Uh, permanent if your opponent has three or more energy and you have Tian Shin Han, the long awaited rematch in play. In your battle area, this card gets 10k and triple strike. Is this a world tournament leader? Oh my gosh, it is a world tournament leader. Okay, so we're getting world tournament too. That's cool. I didn't realize that. Uh, auto for one green. If all of your energy is green, you have a green battle card and play plus card from your hand that adds one card from your life. That's really good. So you get a you get a 15k body. If you have the TN card, long way to rematch. Okay. Yeah, if you have long read, oh, it's a card right below it. Um, this card gets 10, 10k and triple, triple strike. Wow. Okay. TN Shin on the long way to rematch. Uh, deflect double strike. This card cannot be played from any area by skills other than its own. When this card is played, choose up to choose all your opponent's battle cards and it costs five or less and KO them. What? That's annoying. <laughs> uh, activate main for two green. You have a Sun Goku in play. Play this card from your hand. Okay. So you basically you play the Goku first. It has barrier, so it's gonna be pretty hard to remove. And then you can pay two the next turn to play this, or whenever, and wipe your entire opponent's board, 5k or less. And then this, this is a 20k double strike, but then this card gets 10k triple strike, so you have a 25k triple strike and a 20k double strike on board. Wow. Annoying. Chao Tzu, Unwanted Reunion. Blocker, if your leader is a green TN, Shen Han, when card is KO'd, add one card from your life to your hand, then play up to one green TN, Shen Han, with energy cost three from your deck. A card you play with the skill can't attack. Okay, so it's not this card. Uh, so, yeah, so, you can, so this is searchable off your leader. Which is good, I'm, I'm assuming, because you want to play out the, the TN Shen Han, which I don't see here. Uh, that, that may be a secret rare. Not a secret rare, it may be a special rare. Or um, SR, whatever it is. Uh, Mercenary Tao, Overflowing Confidence, uh, 15k, 3 drop, auto for 1 green place card, and place this card in its owner's drop area, when this card deals damage to your opponent by attacking, play up to 1 green, uh, Mercenary Tao with energy cost of 4 from your deck with its skills negated, then shuffle. Activate main, if you, if you have a green world tournament card in play, when this card, um, in play, uh, play this card from your hand, and choose up to 1 of, 1 of you or your opponent's battle card with energy cost of 1, and KO it. Okay, so you can probably use this card to pop your own Chaozu to play out the TN. I guess it's kind of the idea. Okay. Oh, we're getting some older bro. Oh. So okay, this okay. I I should have known we were going to be getting this stuff because of the reprints, um, which was the Bergamo, uh, the Bergamo reboot leader, the World Tournament reboot leader. We got the Broly, uh, field spell, and then we got the King Vegeta's feels both so it makes sense so we're getting all we're, we're getting all the cards that we got support for already um typical bandai 15 15k broly the swift berserker uh when this card is played you may choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and ko it if you do choose up to one mono green broly card with, that, with evolve skill in your hand and play on top of this just a mono green broly with, that, with an evolve okay i can if your leader's a mono green and you have three or more energy, you may choose one of your green, your mono green battle cards with energy cost of one and Broly in its name, or a mono green extra card with energy cost of one in the field spell and place it in its owner shop area. If you do play this card from your hand, so you, you can use the uh, Broly's ring thing, or you can basically pop a one drop. Uh, Broly the Tamed Beast. This is the one drop you can pop. Um, add up to one card for your life. When this, when this card attacks, it gets so it's self awakening Broly. Okay, auto if your leader is a mono green Broly, place the card in the um, when this card is in the battle area, it's placed in your stone drop area by a skill or a KO. Choose it to one mono green, roll it and it costs a four less in your hand and play it. Wow, okay. It's very, very aggressive. Rebrand, the power of support. Uh, when this, this, this card can't be played by skills from any area, it's a unique 20k double strike uh, by skills. So this can't be played by skills. When this card is played, play one green Kakunsa and one green Rosie with energy cost four less from your deck or drop with the skills and get it for the turn. Then shuffle your deck. If you did, if you look through your deck, you can't play. Wait, then shuffle your deck. If you look through it, you can only play mono green, mono green cards for the rest of the game. What? Okay. Very strange. Rebrand Pretty Cannon Unleashed. One drop unique when this card is played. Search top five. Add up to one Universe 2 card or heroin card from the uh, add them to your hand and shuffle. 
Activate main once per turn, burst two for one uh, of any color. If your leader is a green or a heroin leader, and you have three more uh, green mono green energy, play up to one green universe two card with energy cost of three left from your deck with a, with a character name different from any battle cards you have in play and shuffle. Interesting. This card's weird. This this card's weird. Cause this this forces this forces you to only play mono. Yeah, it's weird. Okay, Kukutsa, Feral. This is a dust art. Yeah, Feral Fury. One drop. When this card is played, draw one. Activate main. Uh, once per turn, burst two. If your opponent has eight or more cards in their hand and three more energy, this card gets 16k and double strike until the start of your next turn. It's like a, it's like a basil, kind of, kind of same way. Rosy Blast Manipul. Oh, we already saw that card. Okay. Goku Solar Flare. One drop negate. If your leader is green, Sun Goku, or a world tournament card, choose up to four battle cards, four, four of your opponent's battle cards, and those cards can't activate blocker skills for the turn. Uh, if, what? If you have a Goku, or a green Goku in play, draw one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see, I see, I see. So it's, so it's, so it's, it's a counterattack. So you can negate the attack, or I see. Okay, so uh, it's a one-drop counter counterattack, or you can use it. Um, so the the main reason of, of you using this card is for its activate main. The negate is just a side option, but for the activate main, you can choose up two, four of your opponent's battle cards, and they can't activate blocker skills for the turn. Then if you have a Sun Goku in play, you draw one. I got gotcha. you. Homicidal clones. If your leader is mono green, negate the attack, then play one meta token. Meta tokens have 5k power, zero combo cost, and 5k combo power. This card gains blocker for the turn. When your life is at five or less, you can act, you can activate this card's counter skill uh, by paying by adding one card from your life to your hand. Interesting. Okay, so it's a uh, it, 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 that's kind of cool, I guess. It's a uh, it's a one drop. It, it's a free negate basically it's like a sparking negate so you so you spark you take the life you negate the attack and you play a blocker that blocks another attack or if they don't swing then that card has 5k combo power hmm. okay hmm. man okay well i'm interested to see what else they have because uh this is only the green card list and we haven't really seen anything else yet so we'll hopefully check back next week we'll have some more stuff but there's there that, that was a lot of stuff to go through i was a little more than i thought it was going to be uh that's everything that, that's in here too oh there's actually more yeah because you get you you all the tn stuff so this is cool i'm um interested to see what the yellow stuff's going to be um i did it, you know it does give me some notification that there's going to be some form of um yellow going i mean not yellow but multicolor going into the future um uh, looks it looks fun uh it's a lot of weird stuff so we'll have to break it down later but uh the the main thing that everyone should be worried about is the reprints uh these reprints will help bring in new players uh but also help players who are already playing um feel a little a little more established being able to get these expensive more more -ish expensive cards here for a little bit cheaper um while also buying new product at the same time and that's what bandai wants and truthfully that's what that's what we want too we need more people to have access to cards like 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 basil like rebrands like boonies because it, it 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 adds to the player pool at the top when it comes to value wise because not everybody has the money to spend 25 dollars on a boonies or the 30 40 dollars on rebrands and it affects their deck um, because now they have to try to figure out different ways to make their deck play well. And even if they're a very good deck builder, uh, not having those cards, cards that are considered staples for each color, it's going to hurt. So, just my opinion, though. So, uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of these cards down below. Um, I'll try to do another reveal once we get some more cards announced. But that will do it for me today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.